Okay, hello once again. This is the Resurrected Hobbyist bringing you a Model Time uh, stream. Uh, tonight, oh, I forgot I had that on. Okay, where was I? Right. So, like I said, I'm bringing you another model time uh, stream. Tonight, I am going to be working on my Brass Legion models. So, let's go and get started. So, once again, I'm using uh, Dragonforge's Goth Tech bases for the bases on these guys. Uh, I absolutely love... Dragon Forge's bases, I think he does quite literally the best bases in the business. Now, as an added upgrade tonight, I have added a third camera. My desk view. Now, of course, the problem here is since these models are metallic, they are reflecting a lot of light, which is throwing off the camera's autofocus. Because if I do this, See how it comes in pretty clear? You can see the grain in the bottom of the cork. But if I do this, it can't really focus on the model very well. So, uh, unfortunately, there's very little I can do about that at the moment. Yeah, just in the lighting's not helping any. Uh, unfortunately, it's just something I'm up to deal with tonight. Uh, and see if there's a way I can affect the lighting situation with autofocus later. So, but, standard rules apply. If you would like to see something from a different angle, just, you know, give me a shout out in uh, the chat window. And I was just noticing that looks like it is very overexposed on the broadcast hang on let me look at something yeah that looks very overexposed and now I can't be okay wait do 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 Interest out. All right. Sorry, guys. I'm going to see what I can do about changing the exposure on uh, the camera because that should not be that high. horribly exposed. Alright. I will have to deal with that later. So. Anyway. Alright. 
do, 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 do. Where is my regiment? There is my regiment brush. Uh, I've already uh, primed the models and put down a layer of sic sic God, I cannot speak. Sikorax bronze, and then come back in with white for the heads. So now I'm going to paint the bases with a layer of Upshakti bone. main reason I'm doing this is the next stage for both the bases and the bronze bodies is an Agrax Earthshade wash. And as long as I am careful, I can take care of two wash steps at one time.
just forgot I put magnets on this guy for this exact reason.
Hello to all of those of you who are viewing my channel currently. By all means, hop into the uh, chat room and say hi. I'll be honest, it's kind of boring just sitting here painting. Let's get some conversation going.
Hey, Revy. Nope, I am not dead. I am working on my Brass Legion. I'm not really sure how well that's going to focus because of the metallic image. Or the metallic paint. It's going to be hard for the camera to autofocus. But no, I am not dead. Uh, just my work schedule has become a bit more uh, demanding is the word I'm going to go with. Yeah, what have you had on your workbench? Just a minute. Uh, and that damn bot still pops in and out. What do we got? Uh, looks like a uh, Dragon Rider or a Wood Elf Cold One Rider. I'm guessing that's supposed to be like an Exodite Eldar. some Tau with a what is that like a tri-linked uh, rifle of some sort it's got like three barrels on it A ragtag rail rifle. Hmm. I'm going to have to stop and think on that one for a little bit. Because the Tau aren't exactly known for, well, ragtag anything. So, trying to figure out what a, what a, you know, a ragtag rail rifle would look like for the Tau. Huh. That's an interesting thought.
So you're gonna have Tau and your Rogue Traders. Like that. That's a Rogue Trader looking to get shot. Well, wait till you see the next two. Hmm. Halfway expecting to see a squat carrying a uh, tower shield. Yes, I have seen the Sister of Silence uh, models, and the Adeptus Custodes, and the Thousand Sons, and the Demon Primarch Magnus. Needless to say, as a Thousand Sons player, I am somewhat excited. My big question now is whether GW is going to expand on the Sisters of Silence and Custodes or just leave them as one-offs.
get another thing of parchment paper. Where is my parchment paper? Ah, there you are. You fell off the counter. Okay, Agrax or Shade, there we are. stay in order. But yeah, as far as the uh, Burning of Prospero models go, uh, I am undecided as to whether I am going to build the models, build and paint the models as they are out of the kit. And you know, wind up with Thousand Sons, Adeptus Custodes, Sisters of Silence, and Space Wolves. Or convert them for my Chaos Forces. Or for other forces. It's not like I'm explicitly limited to chaos. Technically.
if they uh, release a Sisters of Silence standalone. That's the question. Because they've already got the rules out for Sisters of Silence at 40k. Oh, you just mean a standalone kit. I thought you meant a standalone force. on that. Right. I mean, as a combat unit, they're just so incredibly specialized, I can't see how they could do uh, the Sisters of Silence as an army. Of course, then again, 15 years ago, I said the same thing about Grey Knight, so, you know, what do I know? Maybe they will be added to the Sororitas when they come out. Uh, perhaps. Of course, that's assuming that the Sororitas are getting a uh, revamp. be one of those rare occasions where space marines would actually outnumber the opposing force if they were a uh, full army of sisters. Yeah. I mean, they did say it at the end of the video. But, uh, need I remind you, I'm a Chaos player. <laughs> what is that, anyway? Is that supposed to be anger without the head fire or something?
Oh, I almost forgot to do something. Hey, Pharaoh, how's it going? Welcome to the channel. Uh, ouch. Uh, do, 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 do. Hang on just a minute, I gotta pull up some information. Dragon Forge, there it is. Hey, DMAC, what's going on? Seal up what was never understood. Thank you for the follow, DMAC. Alrighty, do 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 do. Text. Thank you for the follow. Was that you, Feral Roach? And unfortunately, I missed who that was. So, whoever it was, thank you for the follow. Uh, anyway, uh, do, 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 where is it? Okay. So, chillin', chillin', working on putting some stuff together from the new team box. Which team box you talking about, DMAC? Okay, uh, there we go. Alrighty, uh, what was I talking about? Anyway, uh, Dragon Forge is running a, uh, special right now f in preparation for the release of, uh, Burning, uh, the Burning of Prospero set. Uh, short version is 86 bucks plus shipping. I will get into that in a minute. Uh, $86 plus shipping gets you 40 32 millimeter bases and 10 40 millimeter bases. Uh, let me grab the website address. There we go. So there is uh, Dragon Forge's website. Uh, so you can check out what the uh, ranges of bases he makes are. Uh, if you are interested in this deal, it is not posted on the website. This is a word of mouth kind of thing. Uh, he's trying to drum up some extra interest and all that, and as I've said previously, I think he makes the best bases in the business, so every chance I get to promote him and give him more business, I do. Uh, so as I said, 86 bucks plus shipping gets you 40 32 millimeter bases and 10 40 millimeter bases. Uh, the shipping varies based on region. If you're getting the bases shipped to the USA, uh, it's six fifty. Getting shipped to Canada, it's twelve dollars. Getting shipped to the rest of the world is twenty one fifty. Uh, if you are interested in this deal, like I said, this is not listed on uh, the Dragon Forge website. Uh, so what you need to do is you need to email Jeff at the email address I have posted on my feed and to kind of help Jeff out a little bit I'm going to leave that up for the rest of my stream so just a heads up it is a great deal like I have said before Jeff makes some fantastic bases you know these are the goth tech bases I'm using for my brass uh, legion are his uh, the base on my Karn is from Dragon Forge. Uh, just, he, he makes some fantastic bases, so I always, always try to help him out and promote his work. Anyway, back to us. What were we at? Uh, chilling, chilling, working on putting some stuff together for the new box. 
Oh, okay, I see what's going on. My window is cutting off a little bit. There we go. Okay, so from the new Kill Team box. Which new Kill Team box? Did I miss an announcement somewhere? Oh, is it the, uh, oh, blah, 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 names, they escape me. The Space Marines and the Aliens. <laughs> yeah, because that really narrows the possibilities down. Ah, blah, da, 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 da. Oh, the, uh, Marv. Yeah, was it Raven Guard and Tau? I think it is. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I know. We, okay, I know which boxes that you're talking about now. Sorry, I've taken up the policy of largely avoiding a lot of the rumor sites just because of the uh, toxicity involved in any kind of discussion of, you know, rumors and all that. So when you said new box set, I was like, oh, did I miss something that I am cautious to find out exists anyway? I just got it Thursday too. Nice. Yeah, I've looked at the box set a couple times, and it's definitely a good deal, especially if you're starting out uh, Tau or Space Marines. I do have an alternate camera view. The only problem is because of the metallic colors, uh, the camera has a really hard time focusing on it. And I have apparently hit it at some point too. So there is that. Let me see if I can adjust the lighting a little bit. Yeah, fortunately that's about the best I can do for right now. Uh, the bronze base coat is just really kind of bright in comparison to a lot of other things on my desk. And then they've got the white colored heads. So the camera's having a really hard time focusing. Maybe the uh, 910 I have will work a little bit better. Uh, let me see if this is any better. Well, lighting's crap, but at least you get a better idea of coloring. Let 
They are a Chaos Space Marine unit. Uh, I have not decided what they're actually going to count as yet. They are either going to count as Thousand Suns or Plague Marines. But the basic idea is... Yeah, I mean, I was working on this Chaos Sorcerer... Ooh, when was I working on this guy? I built him on stream. A month ago? Six weeks ago, maybe? Maybe longer than that? But the idea is the Sorcerer uh, is an expert at soul transference. So what he does is he takes the souls of his thralls and uh, implants them into bronze statues. The head of the statue then explodes, revealing this glowing, flaming skull kind of apparition of a head. And... He has warriors, roughly on par with Space Marines, but without the, you know, huge cost of Space Marines. Sort of. <laughs> yeah, so short version, anim or, uh, soul bound uh, suits of armor. There we go. Yeah, I made a post on my website, or blog, excuse me, talking about them. There you go. Well, Chaos Necrons at any rate, but yeah. Yeah, I'm just slightly miffed that the camera doesn't want to cooperate. You know, I, may, I put this camera right here so I could do a close-up view and... Yeah. You know, oh, look! It doesn't want to focus on the metallic colored models! Boo! Oh my. And I just noticed on my monitor that, or on my uh, stream monitor, uh, the, the desk scale image is very washed out. Uh, definitely overexposed somewhere. I'm going to have to play with settings to clean that up at some point. But unfortunately I can't do that live without turning off the stream. So, here's a question for everyone actually willing to answer in the channel. Who has read at least some of the Horus Heresy novels? Yeah, that's true, Revy. I do remember you mentioning that now. 
I don't know why I didn't remember it when I asked, but eh, whatever. My brain doesn't want to work some days. Pharaoh, DMAC, you guys? Anyone else who's lurking around on my channel and not actually in the chat room want to speak up? You know, have you read any of the Horace Heresy novels? So, Revy, out of the Horus Heresy books you have read, have any of them dealt with the Perpetuals? Oh, nothing wrong with that, Roach. Different strokes for different folks. I do have to say, I feel like uh, the Horace Heresy novels are becoming more hit or miss. The short version, the Perpetuals are people who, when they are killed, do not stay dead. And we're not talking like zombies. We're talking like they literally get back up. They are reported to not be killable. Uh, the introduction to them, as far as I know, was for a character named John Grammaticus. Who, among other things, mentioned being a U.S. Marine who stormed the beaches of Iwo Jima. And when I say he stormed the beaches of Iwo Jima, I do mean in 1944. So the dude's around 30,000 years old. I'm just more curious as to what people's opinion of the concept is. I was asking about people's opinion of the concept of the perpetuals in uh, the Horus Heresy. Basically a group of humans 
that functionally live forever. Uh, at least one of them uh, was a U.S. Marine during World War II and did actually storm the beaches of Iwo Jima. I mean, I've only read one book with them in it so far. Uh, apparently there are others, however. Uh, and apparently, uh, one John Grammaticus uh, resurrected Vulcan and in the process transferred his uh, perpetualness, God, that sounds weird to say, uh, into Vulcan. So in theory, Vulcan is now a perpetual. I think the concept, while great, is very hard to implement in the 40k universe. Not that it'd be universe-breaking. Uh, I can certainly agree it wouldn't be universe-breaking. But my... I mean, let me just be blunt. I think the idea is incredibly contrived and lazy. Like, it, it literally strikes me as an author that wanted to write a 40k book and have a dude say I was in World War II and now I'm here in the 31st millennium just the I the idea for the scene seems comical enough that I can't really get behind any implementation of it but even more than that my biggest issue with it is the Emperor. I mean, the Emperor has been, you know, developing his plans for humanity for, you know, at minimum 20,000 years. Uh, you you kind of would figure he, you know, would notice a dude who's been around almost as long as he himself has. Like, that just seems like something... You know, that just seems like something that the Emperor would have taken note of. To organically build a scene with him is hard. And the, yeah, I mean, like, my thing is, like, every line of, like, character I can really apply to the idea of having lived 20 plus thousand years is you would not want to be involved in anything anymore. Yeah, pretty much a self-insert fanfic, I guess. I guess is a good way to describe it. But, like, you know, if, if you've been around 20,000 years, you've literally seen the rise and fall of, you know, more empires than you can shake a stick at. Uh, you've seen, you know, humanity rise in the age of technology, then fall into the age of darkness. And you've seen the rise of the Emperor and him conquering earth and you know setting out on the great crusade i just i i can't see someone actually you know caring anymore like they'd just be more likely to go i'm just gonna kind of sit back and watch and see what happens at this point now i've been through all this already
No, I do not want to install iOS 10. Go away. green shade maybe let's take a look at that real quick okay it's definitely more of a deep green bit bluish right, Athonian camo shade maybe uh, that's more of like a deep brush uh, you know, hide in the bushes kind of color. And then Throckoth Green. Alright, that's a bit more of a green that I'm looking for. I also need a blue. Uh. <sighs> Tracking off nightshade. Well, what you said about sitting, I'm assuming that's supposed to be back and not ack, and seeing what happens may be true. If I do the Thrakath green and really water down the dragon off. The Emperor did inspire loyalty and lifted the spirits of people like even Malkador. Right, which then comes back to my prior point of you'd think the Emperor would take note of people who seems to have been there for, you know, two millennia. Exactly. You know, if I were the Emperor and I found out there were dudes that have been here as long as I have, I would be hunting those SOBs down to find every single one of them. Hey, Jenbu, thank you for the follow. Yeah. 
Absolutely, it's half the reason I started the channel. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let me just try straight Thrakath Green. So what I need to do is I need to tint the white. Though the last hour got away from me, it's nearly 4 a.m. and I'm up at 8. Lol. Oh, Lord Jenbu, don't don't do that to yourself. Hey, Corbolu... Cor Thank you for the follow, Cor. I have no idea how to say your uh, username, though. Huh. I seem to be getting a lot of followers from, uh, from across the pond. I wonder if it's like the time difference. Like, most of the people in the States are starting to go to bed about this time. Hmm... Corbulo DIY. Corbulo as in the uh, general or Corbulo as in the uh, character from 40k? Yeah, English can be a virtue some days, or at least American. Interesting. I wonder if maybe it's like the times that I'm normally looking for them. Because I've found several people doing uh, live streams of painting that speak English. But they're all at way different times than I'm typically streaming. And, you know, not that I'm complaining or anything like that. You know, I'm absolutely thrilled to make friends across the pond and anywhere else in the world. Just kind of one of those, you know, tidbits. It's kind of like, huh, I wonder why that is. The Blood Angel. <laughs> oh, where was it? I read somewhere that... Maybe it was a fan theory. Honestly, I hope it was, because it's one of those fan theories that I kind of find terrifying. But uh, someone hit on the idea that Corbulo is trying to capture the Necrons, or some of the Necrons, so that he can reverse engineer... You know, their biotransference, really, as a possible means of curing the Blood Angel's Black Rage. Well, with Blue's schedule, you have to think four streams from 4 p.m. to 4 a.m. on weekdays. True. True.
Then Grendler and Kane start their streams about 6 EDT. Grendler and Kane. Grendler and Kane. See, I really want to say those names are, you know, striking a bell in my memory, but they could just as easily be, you know, name association with something else. It's not like the names Grendler and Kane are exactly limited to uh, Twitch or anything. So, for all my friends across the pond, I got a question. Have the uh, U.S. elections this year become as much of a comedy point for you guys as it is for us over here? And before anyone answers, please keep it candidate neutral. You know, if you support Trump, oppose Hillary, vice versa, whatever, that's fine. Uh, I just don't want to get into the full spectrum political debate. I'm just more kind of curious how the uh, antics of this election are being viewed from outside the country. It's politics, but this time it's even more of a joke than normally. Donald Trump for president. Why should China be the only one with a great wall? Where's the great wall of freedom? <laughs> okay, I, I'm sorry, Roach. I know I should not be laughing this hard at that, but I, I can't even tell you why. But that's funny. As a Canadian, I'm just afraid that shit will affect us. Yeah, Americans are not exactly known for being uh, clean. Our shit tends to spill over into other areas. say there was a uh, commercial put out by uh, oh what was it oh, I can't remember I want to say it was a Canadian political activist group that basically said you know hey America if Trump gets elected we will gladly accept your immigration
Eh, who knows? Maybe I'll just move up north, up to the northern part of Canada, become a bear trapper or a fur trapper or something. I just go to Alaska, do the same thing, I guess. Ooh. Okay. Wow, once that green kind of dries, it looks really nice. Let me see if I can get a halfway decent image. Uh, not a. Uh, uh, come on, focus. Camera, focus. Ah, all right. The heads are a combination of uh, resin skulls from Dragonforge and uh, green stuff. Uh, let me pull up my website real quick. Oh, I don't have any pictures yet. Okay. I thought I posted some. Alright. Bolter and Chainsword, come to my rescue. Oh, that hurt. Do, 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 do. worth a shot. Oh, come on, you were focusing. Uh, Lighting is kind of crap, but uh, yeah, fortunately. I don't put anything in the paint. What I do use is a uh, wet palette. Basically all the wet palette is is a layer of parchment paper on top of a sponge. Which you put in a container that holds water. And actually, speaking of which, I need to get some. I did not realize I was as low as I was. So I will be right back, guys. Okay, I am back. Oh, those skulls look beast. Thank you, Pharaoh. Uh, like I said, I got them from uh, Dragonforge. Uh, do, 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 where are you, resurrected hobbyist, workings and musings? There we are. Here we go. Okay, so the link I just posted up in chat uh, goes to uh, a thread on Bolter and Chainsword I have where I posted images of some of the green stuff work that I had done to add the flame effect to these skulls.
And when using a wet palette, you want to make sure you have enough water in the uh, base to keep the sponge saturated, but not underwater, if that makes sense. Basically, when you press the uh, sponge, it should drip water. But if it's just sitting there, you, it should not be sitting in water. Yeah, wow, I was way lower on this than I thought I was. Let me readjust my light. I'm guessing you still can't quite see. Yeah, I know I doesn't look like you guys can see because of the lighting but basically I'm just making sure that the sponge in the container is saturated so basically it's holding like 95% of the water it can possibly hold and then the parchment paper goes on top and water can pass through the parchment paper to keep the paint uh, dry paint and uh, washes and all that Hard coat, Fenris Gray. I need a white. Palette Flesh White will do. Actually, let me do the blue glaze flirt. Flirt. Let me learn how to speak. Detail brush for this. Do, 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 do. Detail, there we are. There we go, some shading in the green now. <sighs> I really need to get this other camera cooperating. I just literally just put it right there so you guys can see a nice clean shot if it would just cooperate. Absolutely, Jen. What you got?
Alrighty. You mind if I put it up on the stream? Yeah, don't worry. The link still goes through even though the stream shows that it got deleted. Uh, I still get it. All right, let's... Do, do, do. Where is my screen capture? Hmm, okay, fine. Window capture, yep. Okay, so what are we looking at? Thousand Suns? Or something different? First thing I've painted in 15 years. Like, first thing, period, you've painted 15 years? Or, like, first model you've painted in 15 years? Wow. Okay. Um my first thought, damn. <laughs> uh that is like really good for not having painted anything in 15 years. Last time I tried this I was about 14 or 15. Ironically, that was about the same age I started. The only difference is when I was 14 or 15, it was 20 years ago. Yeah, no, you've, I, yeah, wow. I mean, considering you're basically starting out cold, uh, that is surprisingly well done. Uh, you've got a very, very even, very solid uh, color lay, or colored, the A very even layer of color. Pardon me while I learn to speak. I have an old army that's undercoated. That's about it. Everyone's got an old army that's only undercoated. Yeah, oh, actually, now that I'm looking at it, I'm even seeing you're, do you're doing some highlighting in there. It's a very reserved kind of highlighting, but it is there and does add a decent amount of depth to where it is. Uh, Jenbu, to be honest, for not having painted anything in more than a decade at least, that is extremely well done. I would, I would really like to see, like, how much you would develop your painting skills in, say, you know, two years of just, you know, regular painting and picking or uh you know just continuing on with it learning you know how to hold the brush again and how different paints react and all that but that is really well done uh, for not having painted in 15 years i mean hell i've got some things that i paint now that don't come out that well <laughs> now, I can't really comment on your, the brush, because, well, to be blunt, tools are, despite what many people will try to say, tools are one of those personal things that work for the individual. Uh, like, as an example, I tried uh, Winsor Newton brushes. 
many, many, many people, you know, speak extremely highly of them and say, you know, these are the best brushes on the market. Uh, they're absolutely worth the price. You know, if you want to be a good painter, you got to use Winsor Newton, yada, 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 etc., etc., etc. Um, I did not like them. Uh, I did not like the way they kind of fit in my hand or how I held them. And for me, they just did not work that well. Hence, you know, I wound up switching to uh, Army Painter. And I found Army Painter brushes to be much more comfortable for me to use. But beyond that, you are always going to be your own worst critic. Yeah, uh, there is certainly uh, the poor workman and all that metaphor in play. And I'm not going to say there aren't crappy brushes, because there absolutely are. And, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying, like, Winsor Newton brushes were bad. What I am saying is they did not work for me. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, you can certainly get expensive brushes. There's no question about it. They always have 40 50% off. Any possibility they can order them uh, for you, Roach? Or Ro Ugh. I keep saying Roach. Sorry, Roche. Oh, good. I don't think so because it's not on their website. I should probably email them. I'll do that right now. Well, there you go. Encouragement. Yeah. I mean, my big thing is I see it happen a lot. Uh, young or inexperienced painters, converters, builders, whatever specific you want to use will ask for advice on how to do something or what would do something. And someone will tell them, oh, you have to get this brand because it's the best. So that 
you know, the aspiring artist, for lack of a better word, my dinosaurs are drunk. Why are you serving alcohol to your dinosaurs, Revy? Uh, as I was saying, but anyway, the uh, aspiring artist will go out, get the item that they were told to get, try to use it, and not have encouraging results, and they wind up falling into this kind of like depressive murk of, oh, I'm so terrible, I can't do this with the best tools. You know, how can I ever do this if I'm so terrible, even though I'm using the best tools? And it just infuriates me to no end. Because, you know, like I said, tools are personal. You know, the tools that work for one person are not automatically going to work for another. But, yeah, Revy, why are you serving alcohol to dinosaurs? I mean, that just sounds like an issue waiting to happen. Let me look something up real quick. For anyone who is wondering, I have a lot of the uh, Games Workshop digital uh, books and painting guides on my iPad. Let me pull up the menu real quick and I can show you guys those. Yeah. So you see all of these are different painting guides that I've gotten and the one I am looking up is Nagash I want to try oil paint brushes and see how those work I can't say much about brushes designed for oil paint because I honestly haven't worked with oil paints in god I can't even think of how long it's been Let's see tattered robes, petrified bone Armor, stitches, tribone specters. Okay. Well, Nagash for unlife, anyway. Where are you, White Scar? I'm not ready for you yet. Ethereum blue, come on. Exactly. Dry brush. Oil brush bristles are a lot stiffer, and I was wondering how they would work for detailing. I prefer the feeling of the feedback when I touch brush to model. Feth hobbyist, get out of my head. <laughs> This is what you get for hanging out in my channel too long, Revy.
Yes, anyway. Oh my. Hmm. That's not encouraging. You wanted to see my rogue trader gearing up for execution. Here we go. Green stuff I'll do tomorrow. Also got to take the picks first. So, do you have something to toss up, Revy? Or, you know, just talking in general discussion? Okie dokie. I'm going to be streaming for a little under another 40 minutes anyway. So I will be here. Oh, yeah, shake that paint. Oh, don't even start. <laughs> uh, a little whitewash because of the lighting. Let me see if I can get it to autofocus more in a shadow. To get pictures up and possibly look at getting better cameras.
grab on tight. This isn't a Slaneshi warband, is it, Revy? Interpol isn't going to be looking for us after you post this, are they? Uh, why do you not want to get that? Fine.